Right everybody, I just wanted to make this video, my opinion, and many other opinions in fact, but this is just my opinion. 9 out of was an inside job, and an excuse for America, Britain, all our governments, European governments, that the rich own. This gave us the excuse to invade these other countries. Because look at 9 11, right? They said um, it was Al Qaeda or a terrorist group, whatever. And that ain't true. Nobody knows exactly what happened, apart from the people who done it. But the government, the American story, the British story, what they're telling us, the government, isn't true. It was definitely an inside job and planned out <clears throat> so that. Um, we would have the excuse to go into these other countries and invade and basically because they, they were living in these countries like Afghanistan, Iraq, Libya, Syria they were living in peace well to a certain extent and then our government don't like that the Amer we, do, we don't like that the American British government and We'll do anything to stop peace, obviously, but that isn't the, that isn't the bottom line. Bottom line is, they want the one big world tax. They want in, they want a new world order, and to get a new world order, they've got they've got to have everybody agreeing all over. And these countries aren't agreeing. Afghanistan, Iraq, I don't even think they've got a central bank, and a central bank's like owned by these rich people, the royal family, the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, and that. They just want money off everybody. And these countries haven't got a central bank. And they're, they're finding so many ways to get that excuse. And that was one of the best excuses, 9-11. And they say it's a war in terror that we're fighting now because of this. Inside job, first of all, was it was done by our own people, in my opinion. And they're saying it's a war on terror. If you look up terror, the definition of terror is something like the act of fear. So no matter what, you're always going to get somebody like assaulting somebody or killing somebody or doing something like that. And they could blame that as an act of, they could put that down as terrorism. So you're always going to have a war in terrorism. That's just an excuse for us to keep on invading these countries. Who owns the media? We do. Who owns the BBC, the CNN, no matter where you go, we own the cameras, basically. So we'll show you. The government will show you the only things they want to show you. So if they want to start something with a country, they'll go to that country. They'll put something in camera. Like they, They'll pay people. They'll, they'll pay actors um, to go in and start a war with that country. And then they'll go like that. Terrorism. Boom. And we've got it on cap, like BBC and all that. It's like updated every day by mainstream TV, all the lines. So all they have to do is do one thing through terrorism. And then they can get introduced. That They can put their army anywhere in the world and we think we can take over. It's so all a lie. 9-11, like, how could a plane hit the top of the, the tower, right? And bring it, bring the full tower down? must have been some explosives, explosives planted somewhere and an open aired fire can't, uh, can't melt steel as far as I know and that's what it was, an open aired fire so that, I think there must have been other things and people are saying thermite that can melt steel and that so it's definitely an inside job and that was their excuse terrorism since 2001, since 9-11 We've been into all these different countries and are we saying all these countries are wrong and we are right? Nah, these countries haven't even got some of the technology, the planes, the oil and stuff to get over here, the bomb places. And if we really wanted to, we could have blurry planes out of the sky. We've got endless excuses and we'll never know the real answer because there's too many questions being asked. But one thing's for sure, the American, British media, what they're telling us is not is not true, and that's that's, that's I just wanted to keep keep this short and sweet. So, 
don't believe mainstream and that's it just look up your own information and go from heart go from your heart and know just know like and look up the truth about 9 11 it's 9 11 tomorrow and i just want to say peace out everybody peace out